Hello everyone, uh, in this tutorial I am going to demonstrate you how to integrate Jenkins with GitLab. Uh, I suppose uh, you already have installed uh, Jenkins on your own. If, if you haven't a uh, Jenkins server, please refer my previous uh, video. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, if you don't have any GitLab account, please create a uh, GitLab account as well. Uh, Jenkins is an open source uh, software development platform uh, which enrich with uh, continuous integration and uh, many more DevOps uh, automation capabilities. Uh, so you can automate your task, build task and build and deploy task. Okay, let's head out the first step. First we need to install some plugins on our system, Jenkins system. So let's head over to manage Jenkins section and manage plugins and click on the available tab. Okay, uh, you need to uh, install some And now create access tokens. In here, you need to provide a meaningful name. So I am going to provide Jenkins GitLab API access. Click on the API scopes. Create personal access token. Okay, please make sure to keep this API token in a safe place for the future usage so i am going to copy this one uh, save the deployed token somewhere safe once you leave or refresh the page you won't be able to access it again so uh, just now save it somewhere once you created the api token it will be available here okay now let's head over to jenkins server and then we need to add authentication token into jenkins server to do so we need to go on to credentials click on credentials tab
that you have entered previously okay now test connection finally check with the connection is successful uh, by pressing uh, test connection button if connection successful then uh, move on to next step uh, now connection between Jenkins and GitLab is okay uh, GitLab API plugin used to access for Jenkins to get uh, metadata from GitLab but we need to have a uh, SSH key authentication to commit uh, change from uh, Jenkins to GitLab okay now apply and save okay now let's head over to next step we need now we need to allow GitLab build commit push pull authentication into GitLab server so uh, to do so there are two ways you can use public private SSH key pair uh, so I uh, first of all I am going to use uh, public private key pair uh, method to do so you need to log into uh, Jenkins server terminal and switch into Jenkins user so I am going to go to my Jenkins user uh, lib Jenkins so Jenkins in here we need to generate a SSH key pair which include uh, public and private keys so I am going to generate key SSH keygen press enter press enter if you don't need any password press enter that's all then let's move on to dot SSH directory and ls Now you can see here there are two IDRSA files this one for public usage and another one is private usage then open up the IDRSA.pub key and copy this content keep in mind always select correctly and then move on to your GitLab account so I am going to deploy a new SSH key on my GitLab account so to do so you need to go to your profile and settings section then go to SSH keys click on that I uh, button and then you need to paste that copied content into this place in here you can provide the name as you like so I'm going to just enter this key press add key button okay now our public key has been added to the added to the GitLab then let's head over to Jenkins server and click on credentials link click system global credentials add credentials select SSH username with private key
uh, SSH key authentication, uh, you can use that one uh, instead the username password. Okay, and now I'm going to uh, push my local repository into GitLab. To do so, first we need to create a project on GitLab. New, uh, so I'm going to create a new project. Write a name here and create project. And then copy your HTTPS URL from here and open your command prompt. And then I'm going to push my local repository to GitLab. Git commit and push repositories into GitLab server. Okay, now uh, our project is available on GitLab server. Okay, and now it's time to create a new project and do a further configuration. To do so, click on create new jobs link and provide a name, write a project name here. And uh, select uh, freestyle project as your project type and click OK and give it a name and then uh, head over to source code management tab in here you need to select JIT as your uh, source code management uh, option And then you need to copy your URL, repository URL from your GitLab repository. So I'm going to select SSH URL and paste it in here. And select add credentials from drop down menu. So I'm uh, going to select my SSH authentication method. Uh, alternatively, you can use username password as well that we have uh, provided earlier. Okay, authentication successful. There were no any errors appears in here. And then you can do optionally, you can use some other options as well. So I'm going to enable this section under build triggers section. Finally, apply and save changes. And now it's time to uh, check GitLab integration with uh, Jenkins using build now button. Click on build now. And click on this. Okay, now it's been uh, fetching into our Jenkins server. You can see here, everything seems to be good. Okay, now 
GitLab fetching has been succeeded. Console output output has been succeeded. And also you can see here I have used my SSH key, public key, as private key authentication. Alternatively, you can use username password as well. Okay, uh, now you have learned how to integrate GitLab uh, with Jenkins. So I hope uh, you have learned some, uh, have some idea about how to deal with it. Finally, uh, thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel for future tech guides. See you again.